Welcome to the fourth video in the playlist on how to create your own indicators and export advisors. So in the previous video I talked about what we can create using meta editor and I showed you all different type of things we can do. So for you to better understand this video, you advise that you start watching from the first video then finally to this main video. So what is today's video about? So in today's video we are going to take a look at meta quotes language how we can get started with it what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up my meta tutor 5 which is the roof from here i'm going to click on the ide which stands for integrated development environment okay so in the previous videos i showed you how you can open up meta, meta editor in three different ways and one of these ways is the last one so i'm going to click on the ide and it's going to open up okay so from here what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on file and i'm going to click on new okay so before i can show you how you can actually create export advisors you can create indicators and so on you first need to learn about the meta code language which is the programming language for programming these indicators so for this case we are going to be practicing using script so if you remember well i said that a script is something that runs once when you apply to a chart it will just run once so a script is a good starting point to then meta quotes language so simply click on script and click on next then now uh, you'll be required to enter in the name so i'm going to give it a name as keith script okay so copyright the author it's i my name keith Rins. okay so i've got a website so simply add in a website there if you don't have a website simply add in anything like your instagram page link facebook page or anything else or just leave it blank okay then i am going to click on finish okay so script is actually the name of the script okay so you can find these scripts by clicking on the plus icon okay so the reason why you're not seeing it here first of all have to click on compile okay so here it is it's kit script and kit runs is the author and this one is my website okay so now let me try to explain what you are currently seeing here so th the first item you are seeing on line number six is actually property copyright so this simply means the copyright is actually a menu the property link is actually the website link then the version so this is our first script so this is definitely version one okay then script program start function so the function is on start so now what is void and what is on start okay so when it comes to programming void is actually it's used as a function in retain type so it indicates that the function does not retain a value then the on start in meta code programming language okay is an event handler which is automatically generated for running scripts so whatever we write between these two uh, brackets it's going to run so now let's get started let's try to write in some code and see what happens okay so the first thing you're going to do is what everyone does when it comes to programming so we're going to print something on the screen so let's say we're creating an indicator which shows buy and sell signals via pop-ups and tells us buy this sell this how can you actually do that so to do that you simply have to write a single line of code which starts with alert okay when you write alert simply write in an open bracket okay then simply write hey okay hey keys okay then from here we simply have to add that at the end then there are so many ways of saving this so to save can actually click ctrl plus s 
or you can click on file and click on save okay then now we're going to compile so as you can see there are no errors but if we did forget to put the semicolon and clicked on compile would have seen two errors okay and semicolon expected so let me add it back and compile again okay so it's done so this is our first script so now how do we test this script and see if it's working okay so what you have to do is open up a meta trader 5 okay and here where it's written script simply click on the plus icon so i am going to refresh this okay so unfortunately this is meta trader 5 so if you cannot find the script in this directory so what you can do is actually come back to the meta editor and as you can see in this navigator the script is actually out of these folders so what you have to do here is simply click on open folder okay so what i did was right click on the file and open folder okay so now in this folder we've got two files we've got the mq5 file and the executable file so this one i'm going to copy the executable file i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste it in the right folder which is the script folder then i'm going to paste it just here okay so now that i've pasted it here let me try to refresh the scripts folder okay let me open my metal trader 5 and let me refresh it okay done then then here it is the key script so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag it to the chat so once you drag it to the chat it's going to give you this pop-up keith by now so that is what we have done so the best way to do this so that you don't have to move files every there and then so simply click on file and click on save as then now we're going to save it in the right folder so that we don't have to move every time we make some changes then now i'm going to paste it just here okay then after that i'm going to click compile when you click compile when you go back to the folder you're going to find the two files which is the executable and the editable version so now so now what we did was we simply wrote alert to alert us something on the screen in the void of on start so let's try to change these words to something else let us say let us write in by boom 1000 and are going to save okay so the other way of actually running the scripts without having drag into the chart you simply uh, okay you simply have to click on the play icon so look at what happens when i click on the play icon okay a notification comes in okay but the best way is to simply just drag it to the chart and it will show you okay and it will show you according to the time so these are the past ones we sent so let me try it again okay so this is what it does so now we are done with the first step of printing stuff on the on metadata 5 to tell us something to do so what are other things we can do so let's try to edit the code so in this case let me try out something different so let us change the update to print so i'm going to write print so what happens when you say print so i'm going to compile this okay then i'm going to drag it to the chart so i have dragged it to the chart nothing has happened okay so nothing something has really happened it's just that it has not shown us what has happened 
So, so for you to see what has happened, simply click on the export. But for you to see exactly what happened, let us first start by clearing everything. So now I'm going to drag it to the chart again. Okay. So as you can see in the export folder, we can see what happened in the background. So it gave us a message to buy boom 1000. So printing actually shows notifications in this annoying way. So to see the notification, you simply have to go in the export because printing everything can really disturb you. Okay, so what other thing can we do? So the other thing we can do is actually okay use comment. So try to guess what happens when you write comment. Okay, so it's kinda similar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to compile it. Okay, no errors again. So let me drag it to the chart. Okay, so it's going to write up by boom 1000 just here on the left top corner so let's try to change these words and see what happens or oh, oh, let us do this okay so let me compile that again and see what happens so let me drag it to the chart again okay so as you can see it's only showing the last one i just wrote so try to play around with this and so that you can get used to it so in this video we've talked about three stuff you can do okay so the first thing we did was was actually printing an alert so an alert something which pops up and also shows you what to do then the other thing we did was actually printing so when printing this is where you actually see the message in the uh, export part okay the other thing we did was comment this is where it actually shows you the message on the chart okay so you use different type of alerts to suit so if you've if you've done the delivery part, you might notice that it only shows you alert type of notifications like when to buy when a new signal appears okay so this video has really gone far so this is the first video in how to get started with the meta codes language so in the next video we're going to go in more other stuff you could you need to know when it comes to meta codes programming language so if you've got some basic programming knowledge then this is going to be easier for you to understand but if you don't understand anything don't worry you're going to understand in the future videos everything will become simpler okay so this is it for today so make sure that you give this video a like so the link to this playlist is actually in the description bye for now